Hey everyone, welcome back to another KSP tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering CAS, that being Kerbal Attachment System. Now, this is one of, uh, I think, the most used mod and actually one of the most useful mods. It actually allows you to build a crane. Now, uh, so let me just get right down to the basics. Over here, we're going to have the actual, all the parts for the crane. Now, the main components of the crane is going to be the horizontal winch and the actual vertical winch. Now, the whole point of this, depending really on how you have your actual... Uh, you can say space station or, or functionality of the winch is required. So for example, the horizontal winch, hold on, I'd probably stick here, of course. Now hold on, let's uh, try to get it there. Yeah, there we go. Now as you do see, with the, where the hole is, that's where the cable's gonna come out. So obviously that's placed the wrong way, so I'm gonna try to... Crap, I can't see it because the damn green... Uh, yep. So you do see I'm gonna place it downwards, hold on. Let's actually rotate it outside. I do believe it's down. Yeah, there we go. If you don't know how the hell I'm rotating, just watch my uh, controls and keys. So, obviously my horizontal winch would pretty much be placed like that over here. Or in case I'm placing it maybe somewhere else and on my spaceship, I can maybe place it up on an attachment or some stuff like that. And I can just stick it up, up on the attachment. And then you have the vertical winch, which is, I think, one of the most used. And here I have an example of my vertical winch. But... Just for example's sake, let's remove it. Now let's just stick on my vertical winch. There we go. Now, the vertical winch, all winches, you're going to have to actually add the connector. Now, the connector has to be put on all the winches. That's just the way it goes. So, let's stick on our connector. And uh, that is the opposite way, because you see the thin part is towards us. And that is the correct way. Make sure that the thin part isn't sticking out. Make sure you get the nice wide part sticking out. Now, once you have your connector, now you can choose what part you want to attach to it. Now, it might seem a little bit complicated, but it truly isn't. Just remember, you stick on the winch that you need, either it's vertical or horizontal. It really depends on where and how you want to stick it. Make sure that the actual winch or the hole where the cable's coming out is pretty much pointed towards where you need it to. It doesn't really have to because you can drag it everywhere. You know, just make sure, obviously, it's at a reasonable place where you can get access to it. You know, and the next thing you attach the connector. Now, you have a couple of things that you can do. You have the radial port connector, which means I can stick this on anywhere. So, for example, if I had, I don't know, an, uh, uh, an item or I have another ship, I can stick one of these connectors on it. And then I have, I'm going to skip this one, and then I have a radial port. This one, I can, it's the same as this. This one's a fixed one. It means if I stick it on something, it's fixed and I can't move it. But this one's actually, uh, it's, uh, I don't know how to, how to say it, movable. You can attach it. Re like removed from this removed from this point get the Kerbal guy grab it around move all the way and then stick it somewhere else of course I'm going to show you an example then we have the storage units as you do see I already placed three storage units here and in these storage units I did what the hell's up with this okay it, it sort of did uh, bug out from these storage units I did place a few things did bug out I placed the anchor which pretty much does nothing except slow it down so I don't know in case you have uh, I presume a uh, water base I guess you could uh, use your winch to release the anchor down and, and an anchor it, or if you have a base and it's moving quite a lot, you can stick an anchor on it and throw that down. That'll hopefully prevent it to move it. That's uh, pretty much ground drag, as you see, it's 500. So yeah, I guess this is uh, one of the reasons why you'd want this. But again, you don't really need an anchor because there's really no tides in the water. So pretty much the only reason why you use an anchor is to pretty much uh, prevent your base, ground base, from moving. Now, you have the grappling hook which, again, we're going to stick onto our storage. Remember, each of these storage things can hold just one, so that's pretty cool, because you can switch those items out. All of this I'm going to show you, and now let's get back to the other stuff. You have <coughs> a stack connector. You can, of course, use this to... Uh <coughs> Got back. <coughs> I coughed my brains out. So you can pretty much get this to connect any, uh, you can say, uh, point that you have such as the blue the blue connection points, I don't know how the hell to call it, whatever, connection points that you can connect parts and pieces to. So you can stick them on, and of course you can connect that winch to it. So let's maybe stick it on the opposite side here, so like that you guys can have an idea. There we go. And of course make sure that the whole part is sticking the outside, so you can actually connect the thing to it. Now, I have attached all the other components here that we can store, and I have pretty much attached all the other things here. So, you know, explaining to you it's nice, why don't I just show you what this stuff does? It's a hell of a lot cooler to see what it does. So, let's jump out. I'm going to try to get this as quickly as possible done, because I don't like these tutorials to be very long. Um, 
So here we go, we have our winch and we have our thingy, let's eject our thingy, let's get the hell off, Kerbal style, let's let go. Now, the winch works with uh, the uh, the uh, the numlock uh, keys that you have on your keyboard, those aren't the keys on top for action groups, but the ones on the right, so 1, 2 and 3. So pretty much 1 decreases, 3 increases and 2 activates or uh, grapples or whatever the hell you want to call it. So now of course, uh, what I have attached is currently the component that I have here that I have here so uh, I could decrease it I can unplug and that's all I could pretty much do with the connector itself I can't really disassemble uh, the actual these parts you know the parts that I just stuck here I can't like disassemble I can't remove it but what I could do let's uh, start off with just the beginning what I could do is when I walk up to the winch I can click grab now of course I can go all the way to another ship and my other ship, let's say, will have one of these fixed whatever unit ports. I'll just call it unit port. So I right click that port and I click plug to dock it. Now pretty much the moment it's plugged, I can transfer fuel between that ship and the other ship or I can of course drag it. You know, one or what was it, three I think to lift it up and one to let it down, blah 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 blah. And I do believe it was two to release, but two to release only uh, was the hook itself. Now this is the fixed linear port, so if I go up to it again and I click, uh, what was it, unplug and grab, and now this is the actual, uh, li uh, whatever, uh, what did it say, undocking linear port, I'll call it that, I don't, I don't remember what the hell it was called. So if I right click that, I can click of course plug, it's pretty much the same as that, but the cool thing is with this I can move it off, so I can click unplug, and then I can grab the damn thing, grab, and you see I removed it. Now let's say I'll go to another ship or another location or something else and I'll see like I want to stick it here. So I'll right click, I'll click H to attach, and then I just move my mouse where I want it. Now if it goes yellow, it's too far, and if it goes, I think yellow, can I still do it? No. Yellow is too far and red of course completely not. So green is where you can, of course they have, there's a range distance. So if I want to stick it here on my other ship, then I go back to my cable, right click my cable, hit grab, go to my portable whatever, linear, port, whatever the hell you want to call it, click plug, there it is, now I have it attached. This is pretty cool, so I, I don't even know why the hell people would use the fixed ports if you can use uh, the uh, movable ports generally. So if you're, gonna, if you're gonna try to stick a fixed port, always make it a movable port, because you never know, maybe you just want to move the position to some other location, so might as well have it movable, why the hell would you want to use fixed? Then again, same principle applies, one or three, three I do believe pulls it, and one pushes it down, and uh, this is in terms of these actual fixed and linear ports. I just renamed the whole thing, poor guy who created the plugin. But who cares, this is my tutorial. So, let's uh, move down to our storage units, which is really, really cool. Of course, I can come up to my storage unit, and I can grab, let's say, my magnetic thingy. So I grab my electromagnet thingy, which I shove in my back, I walk all the way to my grappling hook. All I gotta do now is... You gotta grab, you gotta plug in the port actually, so you gotta plug it to dock it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the, uh, I can actually move the whole ship. Let's actually do that. Let's move back to the ship, switch off the brakes. Move four, three, up a bit. Move front a bit. Break it again. And then you right click and then you magnetize, magnetize on, enabled. Now same thing, the cool thing with the magnetism is you can lift, 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 and you can lift the actual item itself. Now the cool thing is with the magnetism, you don't have to deal with actually uh, finding a sector. For example, if, if you have, I don't know, something curved or bent or something, it might be awkward to stick on even the, uh, the portable linear ports, whatever the hell I call them. So the magnetic thing might be actually easier to use, I guess, I suppose, you know. We'll go back into the settings, maybe the magnetism actually has a greater force, so maybe the magnetism can actually lift more. But let's, anyways, l let's deal with all this stuff first. And then we shall get to the other part. Magnetize, there you go. Demagnetize. So, same thing, what I'm going to do is lower it. I'm going to walk up to it. I'm going to switch back to my Kerbal. Walk up to it, grab that. Grab, go all the way. You can see is you can magnetize your Kerbal as well. So you can actually attach the magnet to your Kerbal and then walk up to any location. And then Click it here, store grabbed part. Actually I have to use this. 
I actually did store it. And we are back, and what we have learned that the damn thing crashes. So whatever you do, do not try to uh, stick your part into the uh, storage area while it's still attached to the cable. You have to remove it from the cable, drop it on the ground, pick that part up, stick it on your back, and then walk and attach it. If you attach it while it's on the cable, the whole game crashes. You know, or I guess just my computer, but I do presume that this is one of the bugs. So anyways, let's grab the magnetic cable as we had it before, so I'd have to disassemble it, d disattach from the cable, bring it back here, right click and click store part. Now this I do believe is the grappling hook, so now we're gonna grab the grappling hook, we're gonna go all the way back there, give it to our thingy, let's r lower the cable itself. Now the grappling hook supposedly can only catch stuff or uh, lift stuff, the uh, current pressure of its weight. And so again I'm jumped back. Now the attachment strength of this is actually 15 so pretty much what you gotta do is ram into stuff and it'll catch on to it as long as you ram into it strong enough so let's ram into that. Hold on. Okay, it should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, grab the ground. Yep. There we go. Well, it says when you ram into stuff, it actually attaches it, so I'm really a little bit confused in terms of how the hell does this thing work, so... It says I gotta ram into stuff to attach it using the hook, but uh, I don't know if you guys want to use the hook and try to figure it out, you can do that as well. Uh, pretty much, I don't really see the reason in using the hook if you can use the portable uh, sticky linear thingies, or if you can use the magnetized thing, but you do have a hook as well. And then, of course, the anchor, which pretty much you, you attach it to the actual string, and use it as an, a as an anchor, so... So when you throw it on the ground, it should... Uh, actually, that'd be pretty cool to uh, to try out. Hold on. That'll be actually pretty cool to try out. Let's actually put on the brakes. To actually use it as an anchor, so... Hold on, do we have the Kerbal? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. And... It's like that. Actually, you know what it would be cool for? If you're trying to slow down your uh, spaceship, space plane, <laughs> that would be an extreme use of it, but that, that that's pretty funny. If, if you're maybe landing on a carrier, or you're landing on a small a small island on Lathe or something like that, you can maybe release the, the, the anchor and just anchor down. That would be really funny. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta, ah oh shit, yeah, we gotta plug it. Plug it to the hook, and then now let's just lift it. Let's just lift it. You see it is attaching to the ground very, very aggressively. Okay, it's very heavy. Now let's just stick it to the ground. It has 500 friction. Okay, now it's stuck to the ground as much as possible. Now if, if we switch to our... our beautiful machine, and then try to move... Move back. Yeah, you see, there is there is quite a lot of drag. Just to test this out, I know I'm probably gonna bore you with my test, but still, I I'm gonna look at the amount of drag and really pulls it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly forward. Hundred and fifteen, nineteen, eleven. Shove it down. Yeah, that's a really cool thing you can use to maybe land your plane. That's a really nice way of using it. So yeah, so, so that's pretty much it. You do have these three items. I don't really know how to use the dam anchor. It supposedly says if you bump into stuff that it actually sticks to it, but who knows, you know. 
Uh, I might have got that wrong, but it, do, it does say that. So anyway, so let's uh, just jump back again. Let's let's just discuss a few more last things that we do have with us now. The anchor, as you see, the drag, the gra ground drag that you have here is 500, so that's why it really pulls down. The pull strength is 30, so that's fine as well. And then here you have the anchor. It says, what does the hook attaches to everything it collides? I don't believe that to be true. Uh, it doesn't really work the way it says. But anyways, the ground strength is 15. So in comparison to the uh, magnetized thing, attraction radius 3, attraction 4, 0 0.04, attraction strength 10, plug strength 30. Uh, attraction strength 10 so actually the electromagnet is weaker than the actual grappling hook so that sort of sucks but let's go down to the linear plug strength 18 so really the radial port connector that's finally the right name that the one that you can dismount and remount it's 18 strength and 30 strength of course for the fixed one so that's one advantage why you'd have the fixed one it's 30 strength and then the fixed one of the larger size in the way of the radial port is pretty much the largest size that you can stick on any of the connecting points that has of course 40 strength so even more strength you have with the uh, larger stack connector port finally sp spelling out the damn right names so this is pretty much it you do have your winches remember after your winch you got to stick this on and then you can choose which type of port you want to stick on on uh, different pieces different things i would suggest you put on the linear port if it's small if you have enough space i'll put on the stack decoupler again anytime you connect with any of these you can of course transfer fuel as well as uh, use it to grab and pull yourself pull your plane pull whatever the hell you want put a couple of uh, hooking bays you can have a couple of spares i'd put a couple of spares of radial port dismountables these seem to be the most uh, reasonable thing to pull or stick on in case you have a big thing that you want to pull so the pull strength is 40 so in case it's very very heavy very big i suggest you put on this otherwise you'll tear it off and rip this off if it's uh, not strong enough so that's pretty much it the cool thing would be to do maybe is to put on three four maybe five winches and then connect them to maybe five of these or five of these depending how big you go so this is pretty much it as quickly as possible i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as always happy gaming take care and don't forget to check out other my other tutorials in the uh, description down below there is a complete uh, playlist. Take care. Bye.